Welcome to AHHS Theater's original production of The Night at Raider Ranch. The play you are about to experience was remotely written, performed, and produced during the COVID-19 pandemic by the students and production team of Alexander Hamilton High School in Elmshirt, New York. We would like to give a special thank you to this episode's sponsors, Elmshirt Mayor Williams, Trustees and Administrator, Bob, Deborah, and Lauren Williams, j Reporting of Westchester, and Burger King. We appreciate your continued support. Thank you as well to the Elmshire Union Free School District Board of Education and Administration. Please visit our website at eufsd.org theater. There you will be able to read the credits for this play, sign up for our newsletter, stay up to date on our upcoming productions, as well as donate to the program. We are incredibly grateful for your patronage and support. And now, without further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy episode two of AHHS Theater's The Night at Raider Ranch. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it looks like we're on our own here. <gasps> or maybe we're not. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Can someone please shut her up? She's starting to freak me out. All right, listen up, everyone. We need to stay focused. We still don't know what's going on. We need a plan. Maybe we should just stay in here until help comes. Yeah, but no one knows we need help yet. Right, so we should go downstairs and call the police. Before we all freeze... I agree with Joey, but I don't think we should all go. It'll be easier to sneak around if it's just a few of us. I'll go. I'll go with you. Y you sure? Come on. You really think I'm going to let you be the hero and take all the credit? With their plan in place, Robin and Andre quietly head out of the room. The house is eerily silent. Joey gathers the rest of the group and has them place furniture in front of the door in order to block anyone from entering. Phone's in the kitchen, remember? Yeah. So when I say go, you head straight to the phone and I'll make sure nothing happens to you. You have to make sure the police are called no matter what. Got it. Okay, let's do this. Go! Robin and Andre bolt into the kitchen. Andre grabs the knife from the counter and frantically searches for anyone in the room. Robin quickly makes her way to the old phone and picks up the receiver. She makes a hard-dropping discovery. The room's clear. Robin? Someone cut the line. I hear someone coming. Robin? Guys, it's them. Let us in. Quick, it's them. Help me move the dresser. 
Are you guys okay? What happened? Why would you guys knock like that? Knock like what? That tapping. We didn't do that. Help me block the door right now. Someone or something was just outside the door before you guys got here. Did you see them? No, we saw nothing. Did you see them downstairs? No, nothing. But the phone line was cut. The computer's cut too. Oh my god, this is it. We're gonna die here. No one's gonna die. What about Mr. Reed? He's already dead. We don't know that. Oh, this is all just wonderful. Look, no one's gonna die. We just need another plan. Wait, Martin, remember we got serviced by the goats? Yeah, it was just for a second, but enough for a message to come through. That has to be our next move. We sneak to the goats and send out an SOS. That could work. Yeah, I like that. Love the idea, but I'm already seeing a few problems. Like what? Well, for one, we're trapped in here while something out there clearly wants us dead. Number two, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a crazy blizzard going on. And number three, even if we did make it to the goats, there's no guarantee that we'll get service. Amelia's right, but we have no other choice. Um, don't interrupt. Even though the plan's not perfect, it's the only one we've got. I'm just pointing out what we're up against. I volunteer to go. Whoa, Amelia. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm the hero now, but I'd rather be out there getting us help than waiting to get finished off in here. I'll go too. Me three. Okay, great. So Amelia, Joey, and Ezekiel will go. The rest of us will guard the room and make sure we stay safe. Here, Joey, take this knife. You guys might need it out there. Thanks. Who's got a cell phone we can use? Take mine. It's only at 15%, but it's the one with the most battery left. Now the only question is, how do we get out of this room? I have an idea. While the team prepares to go outside, Sadie has the rest of the group tie together bed sheets in order for them to be able to repel out of the window. Once Amelia, Joey, and Ezekiel are ready, they say goodbye and slowly lower themselves one by one. The three of them are instantly met with extreme wind and cold. The storm is at its strongest, and the thick clouds have now shut out most of the moonlight. Visibility is extremely poor, but the three press on into the darkness. They are the group's only hope. God, it's so cold! I can't feel my feet! We're in a middle of a blizzard, of course it's cold! Amelia, can you chill with the attitude for once? Are you in my business? I was just saying- Guys, cut it out and keep your voices down. We don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. Stay behind me and we'll be okay. Am I clear? Crystal. Fine. The group continues trudging on as the intensity of the wind escalates. They find it harder and harder to see each other. Joey turns on the phone's flashlight in order to better guide the group. It should be just past those trees, right? Amelia? Ezekiel? Your lips better be frozen, because I know you're not ignoring me. Amelia? Guys? Come on. Don't do this. Amelia? Is that you? I just twisted my ankle when I tripped in a stupid hole. That's why we fell behind you. We tried calling for you. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the wind. It's okay, really. I'm gonna be fine. Although her ankle won't stop me. Good, because I think we're being followed. Ezekiel, help me lift Amelia. The goat shelter should be just ahead. Joey and Ezekiel carefully help Amelia up and place her arms around their shoulders. More anxious than ever, the group hurriedly heads toward the shelter. There it is! Thank God! Yeah, come on quick! Joey, go find service! Guys, the flashlight drained the battery. The phone's on 1%! Oh my god, Joey, hurry up! Hey guys, what do you call a snowman with a six pack? Not this again. Come on, Andre, now's not the time to be making jokes. 
an abdominal snowman. Are you kidding me? Really, Andre? What? I was just trying to lighten the mood. Now's not the time, Andre. Go up for once. We're worried sick and we can literally die. Don't you understand? We can literally we, die. Are we actually oh, gonna come die? on. We're all going to be okay. Guys, nothing's going to get done around here if you can't keep it together. Andre, you've got to chill and read the room. You know it's bad when even Sadie freaks out. Everyone else, we're going to be fine. The others are going to call for help and we're going to get out of this nightmare. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. <clears throat> Not the Star Wars quote. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's so cold. I know, I'm freezing. It's getting colder every minute. Everyone huddle up. We can't afford to lose any more body heat. <gasps> what, Andre? Oh no. It's just, I'm starting to lose feeling in my fingers. Would you care to hold my hand, Robin? <laughs> Andre! How about we save the flirty for when we're not fearing for our just lives? Talked about Andre. Again, I was just trying to lighten the mood. Sorry that I thought it was the perfect moment to... To make a joke. Oh, wow. I can't get a signal. This phone sucks. Well, that's just great. This is not how I'm supposed to die. Calm down. Give me the phone. I'll try and find a signal quickly. Hurry before the phone dies. I'll text 911. That'll use less battery than a call. You can do that? Yeah. It's a new feature they rolled out. The operators don't prefer it, but- Just find the signal! Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Hey, I got something. Make sure to send our location, too. Hurry, Ezekiel! Please help. We are in danger at Raider Ranch. We are students from Equal High. Something really bad is happening. We are trapped and our chaperone is missing. Send help, please. Is this good to send? We don't have time for proofreading. Send the friggin' text now! Wait. Did, did it send? I don't know. Here, put your arm around us. We got you. Joey, Amelia, and Ezekiel race back to the house. The harsh wind and snow pelt their faces and blind their view. Afraid of what is pursuing them, they head straight for the front door. Adrenaline pumps through their veins as the group bursts into the house and bolts up the stairs. Open up, guys. It's us. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Thank god he's at the door okay. right now. We're being followed. Get in, get in. Did you call 911? Did you do it, Joey? We didn't have enough battery to make a call, so we had to send a text. But Martin's phone died right when we hit stand, so we don't know if the text went through or not. Oh no. Amelia, your ankle, it's all swollen. I just twisted my ankle, that's all. But it would be really nice if someone helped me sit down instead of just staring. Don't worry, Sadie and I will find something to wrap your ankle with. You guys said you were being followed. Who was following you? We have no idea. When we were in the goat house, we heard the same tapping we heard before. Like. The one you heard when Robin and I came back from the kitchen? Exactly the same. I don't like the sound of that. Amelia, let's sit you down here. Shoot, sorry. Hey, be careful. That camera's expensive. Sorry, sorry. I got it. Wait, guys, come look at this photo. <laughs> what, Martin? I thought we looked cute eating Robin's spaghetti. It's not that. Look, there's someone in the window. Give me that. It, it's fuzzy, but Martin's right. Someone's back there and it looks like they're wearing a ski mask. I'm gonna throw up. But if we were all at the dinner table, who is outside? <gasps> uh, what just happened? We lost power. I've got a bad feeling about this. Thank you for listening to episode two of AHHS Theaters The Night at Raider Ranch. 
please visit our website at eufsd.org theater to read the credits for this play, sign up for our newsletter, and consider donating to support our program. We thank you again for listening and remind you to look out for Episode 3. We'll see you then.